Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to XCOM. So we're gonna have a small covered operation. It's still not the best squad because I'm kind of feel like for easy operations, it's more fun if I just let uh, like middle level soldiers get some training. It's very important to mentor people who are gonna be like, you know, the, the next level we after you. You shouldn't always just take your best people for every mission. Actually, in Vanilla, it makes sense to take best people for every mission. All right. One of our covert operatives was nearly successful in hacking a series of Exalt Com relays when enemy forces moved into the area. If we're going to have any chance of recovering that data, we'll need Strike One to provide protection. Be nice to actually shut him up. The remaining arrays. If we lose the operative, we won't be able to recover the intel. We have a new objective. Okay, so we have enough invisible soldiers to make this mission pretty much trivial as soon as uh, we reach operative. That looks like the portent map. Um. Okay, just move them forward slightly. Uh, right. uh, yeah, you don't have any visibility. And you do, so you can go, I guess, here. And you just stay here. Oh, come on, you're running the wrong way. Right. Yeah, they didn't hear anything. Interesting. So rapid fire only fires once before activating. Somehow I thought it would fire twice and only then activate. Not like it makes a huge difference in this case, but like maybe against like more serious uh, enemies that would matter. Okay. Well, let's kill the bastard then. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Can you see anyone from here? You do. So let's get this guy. He doesn't even have a headshot yet, so. Yeah, just move forward. It's the same script as every mission of this kind. First, everybody runs to. Join the operative, killing everybody in the way, and then we escort the operative from one relay to the next. And after that, we we'll escort the operative home. And if there's anybody left, we we'll just kill everybody. So nothing super complicated about this strategy. It's been a while since I got my last defense mission. Actually, my last defense mission was glitched, so maybe that's for the better. There's something out there. And this mission is probably a lot easier than the defense mission. To be honest, all exalt missions are quite easy, so... It doesn't matter, like, a huge deal. Okay, might have waited one more turn, but seriously. It's taking forever anyway. There's been so many exalt missions because every time I only get enough information to remove one country from the list. Okay. <coughs> right.
Nobody? Okay. Moving to designated position. We have an operative in position to begin the hack, Commander. We just have to activate the relay to acquire the data. Right, well, it's better this way, so... Because uh, moving next to the relay is what triggers them. So this way is actually more effective than um, moving and uh, hacking the same turn. It's one of the small things that really don't matter, because I'm so much ridiculously more powerful than Exalts. Like, I don't even know why they added Exalts uh, to the game. Like, okay, it makes sense from a story point of view. Especially uh, since they made a lot of uh, story sense for XCOM 2. Like, the exalts become like Advent or whatever that is. So that makes sense from the story point of view, but from the gameplay point of view, this is just too easy. Uh, don't sit on his head, that's just rude. So here's a question. Did anybody survive? Did nobody survive? <clears throat> like, I have no idea. I don't think anybody survived from next ult, but, like, maybe they did. There should be, like, a count of how many... Oh, hello. Uh, it's probably more to try to uncover them, and I don't think it actually worked. No, they did not uncover them at all. Where are you? Okay, uh, quite far. Okay, so I think this is thanks to the grenade that he's actually visible now. Uh, should be okay. I guess I could fly first and then shoot. Yeah, that's just fine. So we can hack and move forward a bit. Would be quite annoying if they actually dropped on our operative decrypted uh, some of the exalt data and temporarily on the roof. disrupted their communications. That and overwatch from the roof. Now we just need to find and hack the remaining relays. Alright, just move Got somewhere. Move it. Uh is that the best way? <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like what the hell? Okay, so just See move and reload. On. Okay, so move on overwatch. I'm gonna hack next turn. Oh, for all we should have sent somebody with my operative. Oh, operative, maybe can kill somebody now. Okay, there's too many people close to operative and my dogs are too far. Okay, those are not the best performance I'd... Uh, Alright. That was definitely not the best of my performances so far. Uh, okay, you're just medic, so you can actually go all the way. Yeah, I don't think this is the uh, alien. Uh, That's the yes. last of the relays, Commander. We've got Exalt's data. Now yeah, we just kill the bastard now. To the evac zone. Objectives update. What's the chance of shooting from this distance? How is it 100%? I have no idea. Okay, it's 100% from this side. He's down. Okay. 
Okay, there's going to be some more drops now. Um, let's, let's move you just a bit. Ten four. Of course, why? Why go like the way that's open if you can kick the door? <coughs> it's one of the things that like, like all my uh, soldiers Here. love is kicking doors. I think this is just hobby. This is how they train them. Because like they're really strong. Like look, look at how massive the guns are. So they have to just have some kind of a special training routine. And I think the training is the gym. It's basically a door kicking. So um, every day they just wake up in the morning, and they have to kick in some number of doors before even breakfast. So like before breakfast, like hundred door kicks instead of you know like lifting something. No, no, no we kicking doors. This is our training. This is what we're trained to do: killing aliens and kicking doors. Uh, still not up, so we'll just run. How many drops are gonna be? Probably not that many. I really want to just do the uh, exalt base mission. Like, the small exalt missions are really silly. And exalt base is actually a bit of a challenge because there's so damn many of them. Uh, did you all die? No, they did not die. Uh, how did you miss? Alright. That is not amazing. Yeah, I just got some XP. On my way. Got it covered. Okay, uh, let's move a bit forward. Let's try not to drop them too many of them at once. <coughs> okay, one more group. Okay, there's unfortunately one more, and I think he's outside my visibility. I uh, don't think I can go there just yet, so let's run here. Running. So, uh, there was a bastard somewhere around here. Okay, now I can see the bastard. Alright, that should be... Is he like being in the corner? What the fuck? Everything by the numbers and not a scratch on them. Hopefully every okay, operation so goes this well. Now you max out. Uh, don't think she has any sight talent, so that doesn't matter at all. Uh, what is this? Bring it on. Critical for every enemy you can see, or this one is 50% critical. If I remembered about this, it was actually really nice, but I never remember about this, so. Okay, how far are we? Still three bases, so I might have to do two missions before I actually get to raid the base. And I've been scanning this like hell to actually speed it up a bit. Oh well. And no, no, I'm gonna still do the exalt base before I go to the temple mission. Anyway, so thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.